Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back to bring another action figure review. This time, it is on the SH Figure Arts Son Goku 2015 Comic Con exclusive. This is the Frieza Saga edition, where he wears his outfit from the Frieza Saga. It's a repaint slash retooling going on. This is the first time they've ever done this um, for a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. They pretty much ran out of repaints to do, um, so they did this. I don't mind because it's pretty much the same figure as the Son Goku, but a little bit of add-on touches. Not an entirely different character. As long as they don't do that, I am completely okay. Now, this guy was hard to come by. It took me a while to get him. Actually, that's why I'm making my review now a little bit late after the SDCC, so I apologize for that, but I tried my best. Uh, but I do finally have him now. There's the front of the package. There is the side. There is the back right there and the other side. Now, let's crack this guy open and see what we got. Alrighty, and there he is out of the package looking very nice. I really like the look of this Goku because he is the pretty much the classic look of, of, of Goku. He's got the symbols on and he's got the little um belt with the yellow boots. That's pretty much the main difference in this San Diego Comic Con exclusive are the boots are painted differently. Of course, the orange is a different uh, color as well, different light tone. Uh, the belt's different. That's the added retooling, I guess. And um, the symbols, the Go Kanji symbol on the front and on the back, that looks really, really nice. I like how that came out. I mean, this is the classic Goku. Of course, the Sun Goku that we got did not have any of these symbols. I believe that was the Goku from the Cell Game Saga. Um, this is the Frieza Saga Goku. Very cool. Um, I A lot of people were disappointed with this being an exclusive for San Diego, but in all reality, we it's either a repaint or you know or this i really don't want a new character because i mean that would skyrocket in price it'd be really hard to get for people uh so i really do like that they went with this and it's um it's a you know it's a it's a new look for him it's that we have not gotten in uh, the figure it's uh form yet uh so that is good i mean in my opinion uh, hardcore dragon ball z fans will buy this and pick him up as you can see he is pretty uh popular right now Anyways, on to the figure itself. Let's get a closer look at Goku here. Uh, you can get a good look at how he looks. I like how it came out. I really do, and no quality control issues at all. The only thing I really noticed was under the boot. It got a little bit of paint underneath, but I'm, I'm not really going to be looking there. Uh, but that's uh, about it. Now, the belt is a lot skinnier than the, the previous belt that he wore. So when you pull this up, you really see the gappage there, and it looks very bad. It just it's that's just how skinny it is, so you can't really articulate that up uh, because it will look very stupid. Uh, but he does articulate forward and back, and some waist over just fine, so that looks good. And it does cover it when it's all the way down. Now another thing that makes this a little bit of an exclusive that he comes with an extra face that the original release did not come with, and that is this face, which is more of an angry face. Uh, so this is a new face that we didn't get with Son Goku. And uh, you can only get with this San Diego Comic Con exclusive version of uh, of Goku. So that is another exclusivity. That's the first time they've ever done that is add another face accessory onto it. So everything else is the same as Son Goku that we've seen before. Of course, I've reviewed him before. So everything's the same. The faces are the same exact as the regular release Son Goku. So are the hands as well. We got the same hands. Uh, we got the instant transmission fingers right here. Uh, these hands right here open palm blasting hands and of course the Kamehameha wave uh, or grabbing hands if you may and also of course he comes with the uh, Kamehameha wave powering up effect that came with Sun Goku we all know how this uh, thing looks like I'm not complaining it's really cool I get to, you know you get to use it on other characters just you know such as Gohan or even um, so, so it's good to have another one of those, uh, never too much effects, never so. And there's a good look at him with the exclusive face that he came with. Now, from here, of course, I'll go ahead into the articulation that we all know already. This is the same mode that's been used for all the Gokus pretty much so far. And the same articulation, left and right, up and down. We got the neck articulated just a little bit, arm, forward and back, bicep swivel, uh, double elbow joint, swivel at the wrist with the hinge. Of course, we have the shoulder sleeves that are, uh, Articulated to not hinder any articulation, of course. So about the waist uh, forward and back, uh, the belt is a separate piece. The uh, leg is forward and back. It drops down SH figure style, you know, in and out more movement. Double jointed knees with the weird looking uh, joint there. And mine came with a little bit of a scuff. Uh, and that has to do with the plastic rubbing against each other. That's unfortunate. I don't like, I do not like that at all. There's no swivel at the boot. But it does swivel at the ankle and goes forward and back, and ankle rocker pivot. 
to articulation as well. And that's pretty much it. So we all know this articulation, nothing new here. I just wanted to offer just a quick comparison of the two. You can see the different tones of orange that they used in both figures. And of course, there is no symbol on the regular Son Goku. Uh, and then the boots are painted differently, of course. And of course, the belt and the faces. So there you go. Alright, so that pretty much does it for the review of the San Diego Comic Con 2015 exclusive SH Figures Dragon Ball Z Son Goku from Frieza Saga. Uh, that is pretty much it. Nothing else different there is. We've seen this body before. We've seen this articulation before. What's new here is the paint apps and the uh, the new molds that were added onto the figure, and of course the new face mold. Uh, everything else is the exactly the same. I really do dig this look. I mean, I like it. This is the Frieza Saga version of Goku. It's very very iconic. I mean, this is Frieza Saga. A lot of people really love this saga. It was probably the longest saga ever, longest lasting villain ever. Um, and it, it's just a really nice figure to have into my collection. I really do enjoy it. And I do recommend this guy. He is going up in price, so I highly recommend for you to pick him up now before he just skyrockets even more. Overall, the figure came out great in my opinion. I love the choice of colors. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but he's got some... Um, skin uh, airbrush skin tones onto the arm to make it more detailed really liked how that came out as well so with that said that completes my review on the uh san diego comic con pizza saga goku uh go out and get him guys if you enjoyed this video i hope you did go ahead and leave a like comment subscribe if you guys would like you guys have a great day bye